Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and today I'm going to show you a really, really simple card. It's one layer of cardstock. That's all you need. One layer. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make this um, strip or stripe of ink. Um, to just create some very simple, quick cards. Um, I want you to think about um, the variety you could do with these. I'm gonna do Old Olive, and I think we'll try the new ink color, Just Jade, but really, the possibilities are endless with these. All right, well, let's get started. I mentioned you just need one piece of, of Whisper White cardstock, four and a fourth by 11 is the um, size. It's just a piece of cardstock cut in half and scored in the middle. Now you're going to need a couple of other things. The stamp set I'm using is called Forever Fern. It's brand new from Stampin' Up! and it's really beautiful. Um, you don't have to stick with green. Um, it also has dies. Here are two other cards that I've made using it. You can find these videos on my YouTube channel um, and you can see how many layers there are. So I thought let's Let's flip it and do the opposite where there's not a lot of layers. So that's what we're going to do with this. Okay, so grab your card base and you can use post-it notes. You could, um, well, I think post-it notes really is the best option if you don't have this tape. This is post-it tape. Isn't that awesome? It's tape and I use it a lot in my craft space. You can get it on Amazon. In fact, I'll link it on my blog so you can find the link, um, but it's really great to have around. And you're gonna also need a Stampin' Sponges, right? To, to ink, to do the ink. Now, I also like to use my grid paper because I can line my cards up with the lines here on the side and I can also line up my post-it tape and I can see that it's gonna be straight, all right? So on either side of that card, I have lined it up right there with those lines, okay? Get another piece and decide how thick or skinny you want your um, strip to be. I think that's about right. Mine is one, two, three, four, five, six squares, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, an inch and a fourth, all right? All right, now also I have extended the tape so it's holding the card down onto the paper. It's not gonna wiggle. Okay, let's start with Old Olive. I'm gonna take, this is a Stampin' Sponge that I've cut into wedges and I'm gonna rub it into my Old Olive. You don't wanna just set it down onto your paper because it's going to leave dark deposits on your paper. So start over on your grid paper and just start rubbing it in like this, okay? And as you go, it's going to get darker and darker. You can get as dark or as light as you want. Now see, I got some of those darker deposits there, but that's okay. We're gonna stamp over it with the leaves. And that's it. Right? Okay, now let's peel off our tape. Now the problem is too that you might have ink on your fingers. So wipe your, your hands on a paper towel or go wash them so that you don't get that ink on the white spots that you don't, where you know where you don't want them. Look at that, perfect. Oh, it's very satisfying as my kids say. All right, now I'm gonna use this leaf right here and I'm gonna stamp it just three times over like this in different directions. And then I'm gonna grab the little speckles and add some of those too. See how they're kind of drifting into the white as well? There we go. Now the sentiment, we'll use this one. You can do this, all right? And I'm gonna practice on my grid paper to make sure I'm gonna it's gonna stamp straight. Sometimes, yep, see how mine goes up a little bit? So I've got to practice. So I know I need to, to go down just a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now let's do another one. Let's do one with a new color, Just Jade. But this time, let's not go straight across. This time, let's do a diagonal. Like that, see that? Okay, 
So here's my cardstock. This time, um, you're really gonna have to eyeball it pretty much <laughs> with it because the, the lines on our grid paper aren't diagonal. Then maybe you could turn your card so that you have diagonal, but I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make sure that my card is straight and then I'm gonna start up here at this corner right there and just go, uh oh, my card's not straight. Get it straight, stick that there and then go all the way down, okay? Now I'm gonna get some more and you kind of have to eyeball it. I think I want a little bit thicker than that, like that, okay? Okay, now we're the same thing, different, um, different sponge. Just Jade is a brand new in color from Stampin' Up. Um, and I really like it. It's light and bright and fresh and feels very springy. I did better this time, not putting those dark deposits on there. But you know what? If you go back, you really can't see them after you do those stamps. But the goal is to not do that. All right, I think that's enough. Let's lift it. Let me wipe my hands. Oh, satisfying. Nice. That color is beautiful. All right, now I'm going to use that same stamp, but let me clean it. And I'm going to do just jade, okay? Let's start right here this time. And then I'm going to flip it and go like that. And like that. Okay, let me clean this one. And do some dots. Now, like I said in the beginning, imagine the possibilities with color. You could do this with a variety of colors. You don't have to stick with just the greens. All right, we're gonna do a hello, right? I better stamp it to make sure it's straight. When you have just a single, yep, I need to go down a little bit. When you have just a single layer of cardstock, you don't wanna mess up with your sentiment. Ta-da! Now, this would be a fun, just a card making marathon, right? You could just get out your cardstock and just go to town. Different colors, trying different combinations of color and stamp, um, ink, just all kinds of different things. Um, you can even go back, add your tape here and add tape here and do an, a second color or a third color. You could do rainbow down your card if you wanted. All right, you guys, I would love to see you experiment with this and play with it um, and share your projects with me. Make sure you hop over to my blog. There's a PDF there that has the um, link to that post-it tape as well as the Stampin' Up! products that I used um, and two other projects use using the Forever Fern stamp set if you'd like some more inspiration. Thanks so much, everybody, and let me know if you have questions. Bye-bye.